डॉक्सीसाइक्लिन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम एंटीबायोटिक ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम एंटीबायोटिक ओके सो इन टुडेज इंचर लेटेस्ट ट्राई टू लर्न अबाउट दिस डॉक्सीसाइक्लिन हाउ इंजेक्शन इज यूज्ड एंड हाउ कैप्सूल फॉर्म इज आल्सो यूज्ड इन हॉस्पिटल ओके बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट द डॉक्सीसाइक्लिन इंजेक्शन इट्स फॉर्मूलेशंस एंड इट्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टेक्निक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेटेस्ट ट्राई टू लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक थिंग्स अबाउट टेट्रासाइक्लिन एंड डॉक्सीसाइक्लिन सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डॉक्सीसाइक्लिन विल कम अंडर a class of antibiotic which is which is tetracyclin tetracyclin in tetracyclin class of antibiotics doxycycline is one of the examples along with tetracyclines we have oxytetracycline we have tetracycline we have demiclocycline demiclocycline and we have doxycycline doxy cycline and recently we have minocycline also minocycline so doxycycline is one of the major uh, major majorly used antibiotic from the class of tetracyclines so doxycycline is the example along with doxycycline minocycline demiclocycline oxy tetracycline and tetracycline all these are examples of tetracyclines and in this is the uh, typical structure of tetracycline class of antibiotics we have in tetracyclines four cycles are available due to this four cycles it is named as tetracycline okay so tetracycline is available in oral capsule form as well as in tablet form 100 mg and 200 mg okay and along with this it is also available in iv form one thing you have to remember doxycycline is available in oral form as well as iv form and oxy tetracycline is available in iv form and oral form remaining all other tetracyclines are available only in oral form that is important point you have to remember now let's try to discuss the basics of tetracyclines we will try to discuss basic things initially see most of the uh, see first thing tetracycline is a broad spectrum antibiotic tetracycline is a broad spectrum antibiotic what is antibiotic antibiotics are the agents or the chemicals or the drugs which are obtained from they are obtained from microbes and they are used to kill or they are used to inhibit the growth of bacteria they are called antibiotics antibiotics are the substances which are obtained from microorganisms and they are used to kill or inhibit the growth of bacteria or other microbes is called antibiotic so broad spectrum antibiotics means the antibiotics which are very effective for gram positive bacteria they are effective for gram negative bacteria they are effective for spirochetes they are effective for chlamydia they are effective for some parasites also parasites so they are effective for aerobes and anaerobes as aerobes and anaerobes as well that's why they are named as broad spectrum antibiotic broad spectrum antibiotics are those antibiotics which are effective for gram positive bacteria gram negative bacteria gram positive negative cocci gram positive negative bacilli and spirochetes chlamydial parasites entamoeba histolytica and sometimes for malarial parasite also okay that's why they are named as broad spectrum antibiotic so spectrum of activity is very important for doxycycline tetracyclines okay because of this majority of spectrum of activity they are called broad spectrum antibiotics and in broad spectrum antibiotics we have two only two one is chloramphenicol and one is tetracycline tetracycline and chloramphenicol are the only two antibiotics which are considered as broad spectrum antibiotics now let us try to see some more basic things if we see the pharmacokinetics of doxycycline see doxycycline is available in oral form as well as iv form right when it is given through oral form in absorption always remember doxycycline will interact with the calcium supplement it will interact with iron it will interact with antacids antacids it interacts with milk it interacts with egg and food food will delay the absorption and all this calcium iron antacids milk magnesium magnesium and aluminum all these substances will interact with tetracyclines and they will form a complex they will form a complex and this complex is stable and it is not absorbed from gi tract that's why that's why it is not given mainly through all these substances along with food okay and this property is called chelation property chelation property 
due to the chelation property of tetracyclines when it is given to oral route it interacts with all the substances forms complex and this stable complex will not be absorbed and due to which it is not given agar if this tetracycline is used through oral route we have to avoid calcium iron antacids milk egg and all it should be given in empty stomach or half an hour before food or one hour after food okay we have to give in that manner and in distribution it is distributed in most of the tissues it is metabolized in liver and excreted through feces it is not excreted through urine it is excreted through feces this is important point about doxycycline that is tetracycline now let's talk about adverse effects adverse effects of doxycycline always remember the gi adverse effects of tetracyclines it will cause gi irritation and due to irritation it causes nausea vomiting and diarrhea and diarrhea is mainly caused due to it is it is caused due to it doxycycline is a broad spectrum antibiotic and it will alter the gi microflora due to destruction of gi microflora it will cause diarrhea very important part and other adverse effects adverse effect of doxycycline it causes photosensitivity photo sensitivity and due to due to which it causes sunburn sunburn very very important adverse effect it causes hepatotoxicity hepatotoxicity and sometimes it causes bone related bone related adverse effects it causes permanent discoloration and permanent bone discoloration and teeth discoloration also that's why in small children it is not advised and in pregnancy also it is not advised so these are important adverse effects associated with tetracyclines doxycycline okay now let us see the uses of tetracycline as just i told you it is a broad spectrum antibiotic since it is a broad spectrum antibiotic i told it is effective for most of the bacteria gram positive gram negative cocci bacilli and all see in advantages in uses always remember these uses doxycycline and tetracyclines are effective for rickets due to rickettsial infection rickettsial infection it is drug of choice in pneumonia pneumonia caused due to mycoplasma it is a drug of choice in chlamydial infection it is a drug of choice in cholera cholera is very dangerous diarrheal disease gastric and gastroenteritis disease in cholera it is a drug of choice it is also effective for brucellosis brucellosis and in previous days we used tetracycline for plague also it is effective for plague it is effective for acne it is used for acne bacterial acne and sometimes it is used for malarial infection because it is effective for malarial it is effective for leprosy and amebiasis is very important because tetracyclines doxycycline is effective for end time vasculitica so in that cases tetracyclines are effective and along with this we have very famous metronidazole metronidazole is effective for such kind of infections and sometimes in filariasis also this tetracycline is very effective tetracyclines and doxycycline these are the uses of doxycycline now let's talk about the formulations formulations of doxycycline See, doxycycline as it is available in capsule form 100 mg, and it is available in tablet form also 100 and 200 mg. Let's try to discuss about the precautions and administration techniques of doxycycline in IV. See, doxycycline is available as 100 mg and 200 mg vial. Okay, IV vial. IV vial. This 100 mg and 200 mg vial should be mixed with 10 ml of water for injection. 10 ml of water for injection is mixed with this. 100 mg or 200 mg powder okay and it is made solution this 10 ml solution which is containing 100 mg or 200 mg of drug this should be mixed or it should be diluted with 500 to 1 liter of normal saline or dextrose or any other uh, like we have ringer lactate any other solution and these diluted form should be infused for 1 to 2 hours okay in in slow iv infusion rapid iv infusion is not infused slowly it is infused so this is the technique of how doxycycline should be infused in the hospital and in adverse effects always remember doxycycline adverse effects it interacts with bones it forms chelation property okay it causes uh, sunburn photosensitivity and it causes hepatotoxicity hepatotoxicity very very important adverse effects okay 
So these are important points about doxycycline and tetracycline. You have to remember in the hospital. Okay. So you can see doxycycline is available in injection 100 mg while okay. Uh, this 100 mg while is already packed with a 10 ml of water for injection. And, and along with this, always remember, sorry, uh, this is doxycycline. Along with this, ascorbic acid is also available. So doxycycline, doxycycline should be mixed with ascorbic acid and water for injection. And this combination is infused very slowly, very slowly. Okay. And so it's available in oral form, capsule form also. Okay. I think you understood about doxycycline basic things. It's uh, pharmacology. Okay. In next class, I'll come with some other latest videos. Please keep watching my videos. Keep sharing my videos to other healthcare professionals so that uh, it will give me some confidence and boost my energy so that I can make many such videos in future. Thank you for watching. Thanks a lot.